Hi guys, Erica say IX14. So Pavimento, listen, I have to be honest to our viewers, right? Some people ask us, are you guys ever going to do watch along? I think after today, seeing you being that negative during the first half, especially, I don't think we'll ever do it, man. You were so pissed off, but we still had a better second half. And I just want to know one thing. You went to Aruba, man, for three weeks. You came back all relaxed, you know, what's going on with you, man? Why are you so negative right now? Even on Aruba, I was watching the games, bro. Like, <laughs> what the hell? Like, I went to uh, to watch the Napoli game, uh, Champions League in Mumba, you know, drinking, having cocktails, watching the games. I saw all Ajax fans. I had this amazing idea of taking pictures with them uh, at the end of the match. And then we got battered 1-6. So, um, yeah, I have every reason to be uh, negative in the way we are playing at the moment. And, um, yeah, I mean... Look, the excitement for me is if Schroeder makes the right decisions and he's playing with a little bit more football in his uh, in his play, I would uh, I would accept it, but I'm not seeing real progress. We won, I'm happy with that, but if you look at the first half, Pasfer really really saved us in that first half, kept us close and uh, yeah, Berghaus man of the match. I mean, his goals were very important, that assist on Broby very important. Uh, great play from him today, but the first half was worrisome. And yeah, I, I do scream a lot during the game and I do say a lot of uh, bad words. So uh, maybe a watch long is not the best idea. All right. So what's your view on the, on, the, on the game today? Basically the first half and the second half. Second half was better. What do you see? Tell us what you see. Share with us your vision on this team. I see uh, the same setup as uh, last week. So that means our coach was uh, content uh, with how we played against a very weak opponent and didn't change anything today. And in the first half, we were struggling. It looked like Arcase could easily come out with their counterattacks, and we looked so weak on the transition part of the game. Um, Berha saved us with a good shot. I think it got deflected, and uh, he, he got that goal. But it was Arcase that first got a goal that was... Um, this was offside, I think. Yeah. yeah, but first, you had the save from Pasfer, right? Yeah, true. So, um, yeah, Pasfer was really important for us, just uh, for us to have a chance in this game. Um, so that's why I was really, like, uh, doubting if I should give it to Pasfer or Berghaus. But when Berghaus gave that assist to Broby, I had to give it to him because he was very important for us and yeah. one of the best on the pitch today, definitely. Yeah. You like him on the eight? Yeah, yeah. That should be his position. I, I wouldn't change that. Um, not even, when, should... even if Taylor comes back? Yeah, not even. Okay. Because I haven't seen... Taylor was very good last season, but I haven't seen him really get the level this season yet on the eighth oh, position. Come on. So, for, I'm, no, I'm not, I don't agree. He started pretty well this season as well. Yeah, but the, lately it hasn't been great. And I expect him to be... You know, he's two-footed. He's very creative. I expect him to, I don't know, come in the ball more, time, set the game, control the pace... I, I know it's it's Blint's job to do that, but I, I want somebody like him to also pick up the ball from the midfield and progress the ball. And I'm not seeing that a lot. I don't know if it's a coach decision to do that. It might be. But you do see it. So, do see it. Yeah, he's so good on the ball. It, you do see it with Berghaus more, right? Yeah, Doing much it. more, much more. He was spreading the field, to, like the ball today, uh, both sides, and uh, very important in our attack. And even when he was trying to defend you know, everywhere, just a foot in between or something. He put a lot of energy in this game. So really impressed with uh, with Berghaus uh, today. Okay, so what went wrong in the first half? Why were we struggling that much, in your opinion? I think, uh, I think the setup didn't make it easy. I mean, if you look at how Ajax likes to play, right? We like creative players. We like dominance on the ball. And then you see our backs. We have Sanchez and Bassi that are both not the best on the ball uh, building up, etc. And defensively, then defensively up, very strong, but on the ball, progressing the ball, it's less, right? Much less, yeah. And then you have set up a midfield also with Alvarez and Klasse. And then I'm like, okay, so Berghaus and Blind are basically the only two that can build up uh, from the back. And that's yeah, that's not something that I actually should should um, accept. I mean, that's too little dominance on the ball and. No one of them is press resistant. No one can get out of the 
the the the the the press of Erika say it, it, I don't know man it looked very weak in that first half I think the the substitutions from Schroeder in that second half made us uh, play much better uh, yeah. Bassi going to the central defense I really like that he's good in just uh, disabling one on one the the striker and you know Vandal on the wing is creatively just better than Bassi so I, I like that much more uh, Grealish on the ball also I liked him. Um, defensively not at the level of Alvarez, but on the ball against weaker opponents, you might need a little bit more football. And with Grealish, you have an option right there. Yeah. And in the last 10 minutes, you know, you see Kudus coming in, you see Chico coming in, um, you see Luca coming in, and you see the intensity, the energy, the, the game tempo um, increasing. So, yeah, I, I don't agree with all the decisions the coach are making, but uh, there are some positives that at least he changed something this time. Well, not at least. I think I think you should give him a little bit more credit, to be honest. I know you're not the biggest Schroeder fan. Uh, we're very critical of him. But to be able to make the switch, you always talk about diplomats. One of your diplomats was substituted in the first half. Did you expect that? Uh, yes, because actually he was the worst in that first half. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you look at class, uh, he played 80 minutes and I still don't understand why. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to give him credits because we're four months in, okay, maybe three, but I'm not seeing progression and I expect a much higher level on the ball from Ajax dominating on the opponent, pressing much better because our press is really, we're just walking back when the opponent has the ball. It's yeah. not pressing going forward and, yeah. um, really uh, setting up on the half of the opponent and dominating on the possession and on the ball and and really pressuring the opponents, we're not seeing that much. And, and Eric Say was still uh, very dangerous, even in the second half. Uh, Pasfer with amazing saves, keeping us uh, keeping the scoreline as it was. But it could have easily been a different uh, scoreline, Juan. And, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's not something you can deny. Okay, so if we take something positive from this, apart from the fact that we won, uh, do you agree with me yeah. if I say he is trying already, not only now, but also last week? If you look at the things he's doing right now, Broby is becoming the main striker, no longer Kudus. He's more a striker than Kudus, let's face it. I think you agree with me on this. And he's also bringing Kudus now as a 10 sometimes, even though he started as a right winger shortly, but then Chico came in. Chico is coming as a right winger. Berger is going to play as an 8. You're seeing changes happening. He's not there yet. He needs more time. I think the coach needs more time to really get everything glued. But you see that he's trying to find now the players in the right pockets, in the right places that they, they are, their strength lies. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? You could have tried it much sooner. So, no. You don't need time to set up the right players in the right positions. It was his decision to put Kudus as a 9. I want to see Kudus as a 10. He brings in Kudus as a, a right winger. Uh, why? He never played there. Uh, it's not his position. Uh, 10 is more of his position. Just substitute him immediately for class and let him come in as a 10. Why are you using Kudus on multiple positions if you're saying he's a false nine? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's not making sense. So, you know, uh, just make um, just make good substitutions and put the people that you have on the right positions. And I want to see Br Brobia and Kudus once together from the start. And I think all the fans want to see that once, but he's too stubborn to do that because he don't, doesn't want the diplomats to lose the positions. All right. Um, do you like Bassi more as a central defender or as a left back? Uh, as a central defender, I like him more uh, mm -hmm. just because he can really uh, cancel out the, the, the striker and uh, he wins a lot of duels. And I want a back that is uh, good on the ball, uh, progressing the ball, um, I, I know he has the, the Dumfries style of playing the left back, you know, he has a lot of energy and he can go front and he can give that cross. But um, as Ajax, we expect a little bit more from our back. So I would keep him on the central position and him and Tinder have good speed and, and, and I don't, uh, they work well together to really cancel out uh, all the dangers in, uh, in the back. So, uh, yeah, I would just uh, keep it like this. And um yeah, I mean, Broby, man, that, that goal that he created, uh, I just wanted to to highlight that a little bit because he gets the ball from Timber. 
The first one. Yeah, yeah, the first one. And um, he just turns around from the defender and just creates his own goal. So I was yeah. very happy for him. And um, yeah, I mean, there are some positives, but it mostly from the second half. I thought in the first half you were really weak. And I expect just a different level of Ajax after three months, Juan. And that's okay. that's the right. honest truth. All right. So I just want to, I think you're glitching a little bit. I don't know if the viewers are seeing that. Apologies for that. Um, I want your opinion about two things. Um, the players, Wendell playing the second half. He's been out for quite some time. Did you like his uh, cameo in the second half? And second of all, what's your opinion on uh, also moving away from uh, Wendell? The left wing position, which is always tricky, you know? Uh, Berghain playing on the right, Tadis playing on the left. Um, sure, they switched a little bit in the second half as well. What's your opinion on that as well? So those two points, please. Yeah, uh, Weindel, I think he's a good uh, option. He just came back from an injury, but I thought he played uh, decent and didn't make any mistakes. Even when he was pressed in the second half, he really uh, kept his composure and uh, and played out from it. So, uh, yeah, good option. And, um, yeah, maybe maybe Blin should just bench and, and Bassi and Weindel should be the starters. Um, what else? You ask about uh, Berghain and Tadic, right? I thought Tadic, Tadic is a left winger in the first half. I thought he was um, really bad, actually. I didn't think he was playing a decent game. And then the coach switched him around. Uh, but Berghain on the right wing position was also not good. I thought he was in the second half a little bit better on the left wing. Um, but the only thing the coach did was just switch around Tadic and Berghain uh, from position. Um, but one of the two, he needs to make a decision. One of the two has to play uh, on the left wing, on their favorite position. All and right. the other one, you know, and you have Chico. And if you want to use Kudus there, fine. But this is the first time I see them there. And I don't think he is a right winger. He, right. he moves yeah, too much evident. to the central position. It's, I mean, are, do you agree that it's evident that the right wing position is, a, is an issue right now? We still don't have the right player there? Because maybe it's well, a bit too early. Know, Consasau still. Yeah, it's too early for Consasau, but if you don't give him chances to to really show himself and grow into the team, then mm -hmm. um, yeah, it will take uh, much longer. But he's the only actually right wing that you have in this team, so maybe give him more chances. And I like the profile of Chico much more than a profile of a uh, uh, a Tadic on the right wing, for instance, because I do think that on the wing position speed. Uh, is so important and um, we're we're not seeing that with Tadic a lot so I think if you play Tadic on the left wing a Chico would be better on the right wing than a Berkheim. Understood. Understood. Uh, finally, um, so we won three points clear from Feyenoord. They drew today so that's a good news. Uh, PCO will play tomorrow but more importantly we're now going into a very interesting uh, period. We will play Liverpool then we're off next weekend. We will play then Rangers, so the final two UCL games, and then we have PSV. Um, what's your uh, what's your take on these upcoming games? Well, I'm still nervous for Liverpool because it's Liverpool, a big club, big team. Um, anything can happen. But we did see today the game against uh, Nottingham Forest. I yeah. guess it was, and um, yeah, I mean the intensity and the way Liverpool played was really poor. And even with a poor play, um, they still managed to get huge chances from set pieces with Virgil van Dijk. And they were unlucky in finishing it. I thought uh, Henderson was really good in saving those uh, chances uh, from him. Um, so even with a bad Liverpool, it can be very dangerous in the set pieces and they can score. So, And if you look at how we played in the first half, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not fully convinced we can get a a good result, but I'm hoping that we will see a different starting formation that Schroeder learned from this game, and uh, let's hope uh, for a much better start than we saw today.